So I grew up in a matriarchy. I had a very peculiar childhood. I was a kind of an ornery character. I was what they call a nerd. She never once asked me when I was gonna get married or when I was gonna have children, not once. My mother would never have allowed me to just be the nice girl. He empowered me in a way that oftentimes I think a father empowers a son. He heard the possibilities and he continued to um, encourage me to sing. And thank God he did. I have two sisters, both older than me, and uh, we'd sit around the kitchen table, and my sisters would draw, my mom would draw, and it was like magic. I wanted to do that so badly. I was about eight. My mom was very hesitant about it. She didn't want me to do it because it was like her daughter. She doesn't want her daughter to be playing sports. And now I think she enjoys it. She enjoys watching me play. My mother cared about health food. Unfortunately, my mother wasn't a very good cook. <laughs> I was raised in a house of Italian Catholic women, and I call them South Jersey's version of the Golden Girls with the house coats and the snaps and everything. I don't recall a single night in the house with my father ever. But at the same time, a female-dominated household means you become an excellent storyteller. My father encouraged me to develop in ways that were unusual for women at the time. Uh, he helped me build a crystal radio when I was six. He encouraged me to learn to fly. We were the only Indian family uh, in town. My father wore a turban, my mother wore a sari, and we were different. But my parents always said, you know, the things that make you different make you special. Everything that I am has kind of become a little bit of what my mom's gone through. She's 16, so we kind of grew up together. I was almost eight years old when uh, my mother bravely brought her children to this country so we could have a chance at a better life. She was a delightful, enthusiastic, vivacious woman. She loved to laugh. She was filled with a, a kind of joy that you sometimes wonder where she got because she has such a hard time. You know, I started here and by any view and vision, I ended up at the top of some mountains. I have more money, more than my mother would have ever imagined. And I still don't judge my success by that. That's why, you know, you keep running and keep thinking about what does success look like? And it has never looked like money for us. It is the story. My mom was actually my biggest reason why I am such a hustler, I'm such an entrepreneur. You know, this is my turn to now take care of her. The table has turned and this is the greatest reward for myself, is now I can take care of my mom. I can tell you there was no one more prouder than my dad at my promotion ceremony to four stars. And sure enough, he was there in the front row in a wheelchair and stood up for the national anthem. I'm just so grateful that mom is still alive. I know she knows that I'm very proud of her. And I've told her, there's nothing I can do in my life that compares to what she did. Nothing that I do is compared to that.